Welcome to You Should Know. 10 Things You Do When You Are Emotionally Wounded That Others Don't Understand. 1. You start losing interest in things that you once enjoyed. When you are emotionally wounded, it is very difficult for you to focus and find joy in the things you once enjoyed doing. Your motivation is low, and therefore you cannot find pleasure in anything. Negative emotions are shaping your life and the more you do nothing the more you feel the pain in your heart. 2. You cry over small things. Your emotional wounds are making you sensitive and that's why you tend to burst into tears quickly and usually over small things. You cry over books and movies or anything that touches your wounded heart. This is because there is so much pain inside you that you cannot hold it anymore. 3. You often feel unworthy and hopeless. If you are deeply hurt, your wounds can make you feel hopeless and unworthy of anything good. You will start looking down on yourself and blaming yourself for feeling that way. Sometimes, you will feel broken beyond repair, and during those moments you should reach to the people who are close to you. Allow them to love you and take care of you. 4. You get annoyed quickly by others' behaviors. When you have emotional wounds, you may get quickly triggered by other people's behaviors. That's due to your high sensitivity because you are in a protective mode. Your whole body tries to protect you from further hurt and that's why you react to people's words and even their jokes. 5. You tend to feel too much and then you get numb. You are wounded so deep that sometimes the pain is so unbearable that you become numb. You spend your days on autopilot and you couldn't care less about what is happening around you. It's like you are alive, but you feel dead inside. You neither feel joy nor sadness. You feel nothing. 6. You keep repeating the bad memories in your head. Being unable to forget the things that hurt you is a sign that you are in dire need of healing. By repeating those painful memories over and over in your head, you are recreating the experience and you don't allow the wounds to heal. 7. Your sleep schedule is chaotic. Your mind goes wild, especially at night and as a result you may suffer from insomnia. At nights, you are more likely to feel lonely and depressed and that's when your emotional wounds open and they bleed. 8. You overthink everything. Being emotionally wounded will make anyone insecure about themselves and their life. That's how overthinking begins. You overthink because that's your protective reflex of not wanting to be hurt again. That's why you have a need to control everything. Sadly, overthinking won't protect you but will only make everything worse. 9. You feel stuck. Your emotional wounds can make you feel stuck. Like you have nowhere to go. You may feel lost and clueless about everything. That's your trauma talking. Try to control your negative thoughts and remember to not force anything. Take it one day at a time. 10. You know you need healing. Being emotionally wounded is okay, as long as you are aware of them and you admit to yourself that you need healing. In the end, you will heal. You will be okay because you are determined to fight for yourself. You might experience your feelings of shame as the most difficult to let go of. If you find yourself struggling with shame, it is time to take a step back and catch a breath. There are many ways to help yourself feel better including talking with friends, reaching out to professional counselors, journaling, or use your creativity in any way that makes sense for you. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe.